Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Hello Baby episode 33 to 34. I did mess up on my first recording, so this is actually my second take on reading this. I forgot to turn on the mic and I was reading like three different webtoons the entire time without a mic on. So yeah, I'm a little bit irritated, but let's let's redo this. Let's redo this. We're back. Uh, I'll go get it. Everything's all cleared up with Miss Carol. <laughs> Yay! Huh. You're still quite a few steps from taking Gwen. <laughs> I guess they did get along after all. Jeez, stop with the miss already. <sighs> but Gwen, as your mother, I'm wishing for good luck for the both of you. Duh. Huh? Always take care. Uh... Jeez, it's not like I'm going away. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'll go home now. Make sure you tell her. Uh, hello, baby. Episode 33. Take care of them. Yes, sir. You were saying you wanted to go here at the park again? Well, I never got the chance to walk with you, and you were already done shopping earlier. Nice, right? Wow. I brought some stuff. <laughs> um, go play around with Leon while I set things up. If you say so. When I helped Gwen get out of that family's house, she was so smugged and... Ugh. Camilla, that ass. I'm telling you that half-sister of hers is nuts. Why do people like her exist? I was able to tell Carol about the issue I'm having with Camilla, Gwen's half-sister. At the office. But the other thing. About me. About my body being diagnosed as sterile. I know I won't be able to keep it a secret much from Gwen much longer. But will she even be willing to be with me if she knows I can't have another child? Are you sure you don't need help? Uh, 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 I've set it up already. I felt bad that you're both always cooped up in that apartment. Your friend can hold her liquor surprisingly well. Uh, yeah. She cares about you so much. Yeah. You. Yeah. Uh, I got Adorable. <laughs> I'm still curious about the other day. He's been looking like he wants to tell me something, but like he can't seem to manage it. What can I even say to make him feel comfortable enough to confide in me? You, you know, if there is something bothering you, I'm ready to listen. You said the same thing, right? Gwen, do you like kids? Where did that question come from? It's not like I ever disliked them before. Rather, I just didn't think too much of them. But after having Leon, I can't help but find them adorable. <laughs> I see. Just, I see? What was it about, I wonder? It's as if we managed to lessen the distance between us. But is it that is it strange that the same distance makes me feel lonely? Leon is like a miracle for me. You both made my life brighter again. I'm scared that I'll lose Leon and you. That's why there's something important. Watch out! <gasps> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Everyone, it's okay here. Don't worry about it. Right? Uh, are you right, Leon? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? Uh, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, uh, Arthur? To be continued. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. 
I'm glad you're finally seeing Artie in a good light, Miss Carol. He's better than I initially thought, but he's still got a long way to go, and just Carol's fine. Uh, will I really be able to entrust Gwen to him? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Someone's in that car. Hello, baby. Episode 34. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, everyone is okay here. Don't worry about it, right? Uh, are you right, Leon? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? Uh, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, Arthur? Watch where you're throwing that thing. Uh-uh. Stop, you're scaring them. They're just kids. Let me handle it. Oh. Be mindful of your surroundings next time, okay? Oh. We're very sorry, ma'am, sir. I didn't mean it. Take care. Yes. Oh. Arthur? <sighs> you're hurting him. Oh. I'm so sorry. Maybe we should head back so you can rest. Yeah, l let's. Be a good boy and wait for mom, okay? <laughs> oh. Have you calmed down? Yeah, I'm just... I'm so sorry for ruining the evening. This is my first time seeing him like this. Wait, no. It's just like that one night. Is there anything I can do? Wanna talk about it? Is it related to what you've said earlier about not wanting to lose Leon? And me? Hey Arthur, if you really want to build this new relationship together, we need to talk about things, no matter how hard it is. Parts we've been hiding in the sort. I believe I shared mine. And I also want things to be heard about yourself from you. And this time, not just secondhand from someone. I want to hear it directly from you. We both deserve that much, don't you think? If you still aren't ready to share, I understand. But when you are... I told you about my dream of having my own family, right? Uh, yeah, I remember that time. I used to be a bit of a rebel. I didn't really care about anything or anyone. I hardly even had regards for myself. I always thought that getting married and having a family was just something guaranteed once we grow up. It wasn't until my, fa my father passed away that I started to take things seriously. The company, my mom, my sister, everything that when I never even proved my, everything, even, everything when I never even proved myself to be responsible enough to take care of it all. I got so caught up in my new own responsibilities. Big bro, look, I'm already engaged. That I didn't re even realize how many people around me started to build their own families. I'm going to be a father soon. <laughs> I made the excuses that I didn't realize any of this was happening because I was too busy. In reality, I was just punishing myself to come to terms with my father's passing by putting myself neck deep into work. And then I met her. My ex-fiance. She wanted a family. But I couldn't give that to her. What do you... What do you mean by that? I'm not the complete package. I always want to make myself out to be. The woman who fall for me. If they wanted children. They have to abandon that desire. To be continued. I'm kind of like as much as I would like love for him to talk about his, you know, him being sterile. I kind of feel like his, 
like, you know, Gwen's half-sister Camilla news is way more important right now. I don't know why. Like, yes, you know, this is about him and he's really um, self-conscious about it. He's afraid that Gwen will reject him because he can't give her any more children, and, you know. But at the same time, I'm like, tell her about the half-sister trying to sell the house and that this lady is going to come into your life trying to play nice so you can sign over this thing so she can take the money for the house or whatever, right? Like, but that's just me being irrational right now. <sighs> but I do feel bad for him, but I feel like uh, Gwen isn't the type of person who really you know, care. Like, if she cares about you, she would accept you for no matter what. Like, you being sterile doesn't hold back. Like, y'all already have a baby together. But who knows? Maybe she's, maybe she does get bothered by it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. <sighs> Off to the next recording. Bye!